Welcome back to Gamma Gaming. Today we're going to talk about the circulatory system. helps you get blood to all parts of your body and how is that let's get started so the primary function is to transport substances throughout the body like blood oxygen carbon dioxide nutrients waste and water now the primary organs are the heart and blood vessels because the heart is the one that pumps the blood and the blood vessels uh, are the one that carry the blood away to all parts of your body and now the heart is the major organ because it's the one that pumps the blood and it's the one that keeps you alive every single day and uh, it receives oxygen deprived from uh, blood from veins and releases oxygenated blood through arteries now the, this is the artery this is the vein and this is the capillaries so the artery carries blood away from the heart and the arteriole is a smaller uh, is a smaller artery that leads to the capillary. The capillary is the vessels that connect arteriole's and veins, and the vein is the one that carries blood towards the heart. And the venule is like the arteriole, which is a smaller that goes to the capillary. So the artery uh, is a blood vessel that carries blood away from the heart. So it goes away, artery away. Arteriole, a smaller artery that leads to the capillaries. And the capillary is a small vessel that connects arteriole's and venules. That's where the gas exchange happens. And in the venule, a small vein that transports blood from the capillaries to veins. And in the vein, it transports blood towards the heart and away from the tissue. And that's the tissue right here. So now inside the uh, uh, artery... You, you'll see the components of blood. So inside there you'll find plasma, red blood cells, platelets, white blood cells. Now the plasma is the liquid portion of the blood. The red blood cells are the one that carry the oxygen and water and nutrients and has hemoglobin. And the platelets are the one that are in charge of clotting. So when your uh, blood goes out of your body, it, it clots the blood and does not waste a lot of blood. And the white blood cells are a part of your immune system and they help fight against bacteria so the plasma fluid portion of the blood now the red blood cells are ethero atherocytes and they carry oxygen uh, and the increase in surface area which allows for a larger oxygen intake makes it easy for this or the cell to flow easily now the platelets are cell fragments of blood that are involved in clotting as i told you and the white blood cells um only blood cells with a nucleus they protect the body from pathogens like bacteria toxins and tumors and now in the path of blood you'll see the body the lungs and the uh, the down part so there's a superior vena cava it goes through the superior vena cava it goes in here to the pulmonary vein and then it goes to the right atrium from the right atrium it gets pumped up to the uh, pulmonary artery which goes to the capillaries for gas exchange in the lung and then goes to the pulmonary vein goes down to the left atrium left ventricle gets pumped up again to the aorta goes to the capillaries in the head and then goes down to the lower body and so on so and so forth and that's how you get oxygen now the what are well, how are they similar, um, or how do they connect the cardiovascular system and the respiratory system? Now, the respiratory system involves oxygen entering the, the body, and oxygen is sent through the body vessels and into the bloodstream by the heart, which is one of the major parts of the cardiovascular system. Now, the circulatory system and the digestive system. And the digestive system breaks down food and takes out needed nutrients. The nutrients that are broken down get put into your bloodstream for your cells to use as energy. Vitamins and minerals, which are found in the bloodstream, are transported throughout the body by the circulatory system and help strengthen, strengthen bones and the immune system.
Now, um, the hypertension, uh, also known as high blood pressure, and that happens when the arteries have a constantly uh, evaluated uh, blood pressure that can, can, that can lead to heart attack, stroke, and some symptoms are headache, severe confusion, and dizziness, and uh, the treatments are by losing weight, healthy diet, to reduce sodium intake. So here are some fa fun facts that I put for you guys. If you put all your blood vessels in a line, they would stretch around the Earth's equator 2.5 times. Some capillaries are 50 times thinner than a body's hair. Your heart will beat more than 2.5 billion times in your life. The heart can still beat after being removed from the body. And between 1 to 2 gallons of blood are pumped through the heart every minute. And here's the bibliography, and thanks for watching. Peace out.